Hello, it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today we're going to make a forest animal diorama and learn about the life cycle of the salmon. Let's go ahead and get started building our diorama. Our diorama is nearly done. Let's go ahead and add some blue pluffle for the water. And we'll add some gems for some sparkle. Now our forest diorama is ready for some animals. The first animal we'll add to our forest is this adorable little hedgehog. I think he'll be over here sniffing around to see what he can find. Next we have this adorable chipmunk. I love playful chipmunks. I think we'll put this chipmunk back near the woods. Next we have a little tiny cottontail rabbit. Look at the rabbit's big eyes and his ears. We'll put the rabbit right down here. Next, we have a playful river otter. He will, of course, be down by the river, right here. Here we have more forest animals. These are the jumbo forest animals from Learning Resources. Let's open the box and see what animals we can add to our diorama. Here's the first jumbo animal for our forest. This is a black bear. Look at the big black bear and his big paws with sharp claws. The black bear. We'll put the black bear right here, headed towards the river. Our next animal is this beaver. Look at the beaver's teeth. Perfect for cutting down trees to make a beaver dam. Here's his flat tail. We'll put him down by the river too. Right back there. Here we have a fox. The fox is also walking through the forest today. Put him right down here, walking towards the river. Here we have a moose. Look at this big moose with his large antlers here. This is what a moose looks like. They're very big animals. They're very tall. Put the moose right here. And we have an owl. The owl will be watching over the forest today. The owl has landed at the top of the waterfall. Next, let's talk about salmon. Salmon are fish that live in the river. This is a salmon. Look at this big salmon fish. I like this colorful stripe here, right along the center here. We'll put this salmon in the river. right here. This is the life cycle of the salmon. Let's go ahead and open up the life cycle of the salmon set here and look at all the different stages of a salmon's life. The first part of the salmon life cycle are the eggs. Look at these beautiful red eggs. Salmon lay them in gravel nests in fresh streams like the one we have here. Let's go ahead and add the salmon eggs to our stream. When the salmon eggs hatch, out come the little salmon hatchlings called alibin. They have the yolk from the egg still attached to them, and they will remain near the area where they hatched until they soak up all the nutrients from their yolk sac. Let's go ahead and add this alibin salmon hatchling to the area of the river near the eggs. When the salmon hatchlings grow up, they look a little bit like this. They are called par. 
and develop these stripes here to help them be camouflaged in the water. That way they can avoid predators. Lots of other animals eat salmon, like river otters and bears and certain kinds of birds. So they need to stay camouflaged so they can grow bigger. This one right down here. When they get even bigger, they leave the stream and make their way out to the ocean. Salmon are born in fresh water and then they travel the long journey to go live in the ocean while they grow up. When they live in the ocean, they are silver colored like this. It helps them to blend into the ocean. So this is called an oceanic salmon. We'll put this one down here at the end, headed out towards the ocean. And when the salmon are all grown up, they start to turn these beautiful colors and make their way back up the river to lay more eggs. So this is an adult salmon ready to lay more eggs to make more salmon. So we'll have this one making its way back up the river right here. So that was the life cycle of the salmon. We have a lot of salmon here in the state I live in, in Oregon. So that is our forest diorama today, as well as the life cycle of the salmon. Let's go ahead now and take a close-up look at our diorama. is our forest diorama today with all of our jumbo forest animals as well as our salmon life cycle here in the river. I hope you enjoyed learning about forest animals today as well as learning the life cycle of the salmon. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.